Uh, welcome to the AEC Bar. Uh, I'm here today with James Austin, who's a product manager for Navisworks and BIM 360. Um, as you know, I'm Lee Mullen. Um, here today to really talk about, you know, the new releases that have come out this year. Uh, and, you know, Navisworks 2018 has been a few new features. Uh, James, do you want to? Yeah, sure. So, um, morning. Hello, everyone. Um, I, uh, yeah, we've just released Navisworks 2018. It's just come out um, in the last couple of months. And, um, yeah, we've really focus this year on um, kind of uh, bringing out some improvements that really kind of meet some of the needs of the customers. So one of the big things we've worked on is building a new IFC um, loader. So, Which is really important in Europe, as yeah. we all know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've got a lot, of, um, a lot of requests around that. And um, so, you know, what we've sort of done there is really tried to um, improve the, um, the performance of that, but also do that in a smart way. So we've worked very closely with the Revit team to do that. We're using some of the same open source technology that they're using, so it's developed quickly. It meets you know the demands of customers in quite an agile way, and mm. um, we wanted to take advantage of that. So we've we've built off the back of that work. It doesn't mean it's for Revit only. Some people have asked us about that, um, but it's using the Revit technology underneath basically. Um, but yeah, massive improvement on our on our handling of, of an important uh, file format and, and one that we think will give a lot of value to people. Yeah, um, no, it's, it's, so. I think it was positively received in the service packs last year and we made some further improvements. That's right, yeah, and you know, that's something to, it's a good point to make because you know, we are continuing to talk to customers today. We, got, we released it in September as an update last year as an optional. It's now the default loader, but in that time we've had feedback from customers. We made some improvements for the 18 release mm. and you know, we're in active discussions and we're still working on that today. You know, so um, you'll see that continue to improve. Which is which is you know a good thing for us I think and, and for the users. Cool. Uh, and what other kind of uh, features have, have we got um, as part of the Navisworks family? Um, so I think you know one of the other things that's been really um, interesting this year has been the the interactions and the, the work that we've done with other teams as well. So you know we've worked with the um, the guys on the recap team, um, and um, what we've done is kind of package Navisworks up so that it can be consumed elsewhere. So the recap team now have the ability to bring Navisworks models into the um, into the real views. I think they're called. Um, yes. Is that right? Yeah. 360 panoramas. Yes. <laughs> there that's you go. The ones. I'm not the product manager for recap. We'll get a nice <laughs> little video there just so you can see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. So you know that's really I think has a massive opportunity there in terms of with the re the BLK 360 and and the increase in sort of frequency of scanning data. Now the ability to to do that to do that quickly on site as progress is happening. And bring your design data in there, the as design stuff for rapid um, iteration of, of a coordination workflows, um, really important sort of stuff there. And so mm. that's you know been an important part as well. Um, and of course we've we've also done some work with the Revit team. Mm. So I think that's what we're we're going to talk a little bit about next. Yeah, well. yeah. I, mean, I think it's probably worth giving a quick overview. And I know this is like a really important topic. So what we'll probably do is do a second video about this because I think there's a lot there's a lot to talk about. But do you want to just kind of give an overview of you know, the original intention, what it, what it's used for, uh, and then where it could be used in future. Yeah, so, you know, 2016 we released um, the coordination view in AutoCAD and that allowed people to bring that direct context model in into AutoCAD using the Navisworks technology. Um, everyone immediately kind of said, this is amazing, um, when's Revit happening? That was that was pretty much what everyone said to me from from day one. I think that was me included. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, so the the good thing is now that that you know we've been working with the Revit team on that. It's been quite a complex task. It's involved some you know technical uh, uh, effort over the last uh, year or so. Um, but this year, you know, we've we've taken it into the, the Revit twenty eighteen product, and what it means now is that we have this kind of concept of, of direct context. So. Navisworks can handle massive models of cities. You know, like I remember when I first learned Navisworks, it was the model of Bath. Yes. You know, and it was, that was <laughs> everyone that was, knows that, that model. That was when I was training. That was, and I'd been, just been to Bath about two weeks before I started at well, Navisworks, yeah. so I knew it pretty well. I know my way around <laughs> Bath now, thanks to that model. But, but, uh, but, you know, those big models and how it handles that is, has always been one of the things that customers love about Navisworks. And now um, it's possible to do that in Revit. So because we're using the same underlying technology, um, you have that same experience within Revit, so it's not crippling your model, it's not crippling your workflow, and those huge models for context in, in a, at a large scale are immediately uh, possible. But you know, yeah. um, I think you know that's a really a really cool thing. I mean, I, I personally think it's a bit of a game changer because we always talk yeah. about clash detection versus clash avoidance, 
um, and it's quite a big topic. So yeah. what we'll do is rather than try and have a big, really long video, is we'll we'll split out and then we'll release the next video within the next few days, uh, just to talk a bit more about what that means for your workflows. So thanks, James. Speak soon. That's a lot. No worries. Thank you.